Hi there, Jeff here from the Wetsuit Centre, talking to you today about year-round wetsuits. Now, it's a question we do get frequently asked within the store or online, is basically, is there a wetsuit that will do for year-round use, or what would be the best wetsuit to have as of your one go-to wetsuit? Now, obviously, it depends on a few different things, like what you're using it for, your tolerance for the cold, where you're using it, that kind of thing. So it's a difficult question to ask, but if we were going to sort of point you in a direction, it would probably be, to, be towards a 4-3 wetsuit. So that is the thickness of the wetsuit so four mil on the body three mil on the arm and the reason we say that is because there's a good degree of flexibility with the suit so for the summer months or the spring or autumn months but then when you hit winter um, you've got uh, that thickness of the four mil neoprene so that will give you a lot of insulation uh, but it will also mean that you can layer up as well so you can add thermal rash vests that kind of thing so we would typically say in the UK waters anyway for most sports such as surfing SUP that kind of thing a four mil wetsuit is where you should be looking at but a good quality 4-3 okay so something with lots of flexibility lots of lining and good sort of sealed seams okay so those are the key things a 4-3 comes in many different shapes and sizes so what we do we take you through a few of our personal favorites or a few of our top recommendations if you like within the range that we do and um, so if you are thinking of having one wetsuit for most of the year these would be a good place to start Okay, so recommendation number one would be something like this. So within the XL range, you've got the XL Compex. Now, it's not a cheap wetsuit, but it's going to give you the flexibility that you need for sort of like the cooler, uh, sorry, the warmer summer months, uh, but also the thermal lining and thermal properties for the cold winter months, okay? So you've got uh, a good super stretch neoprene the whole way through the suit, and it makes it super, super flexy. Uh, but most importantly, with uh, the 4.3, if you're going to use it year round, it's got loads of th uh, thermal lining. And with this particular suit, they've got the um, salient lining, okay, which is uh, has lots of reflective heat properties, so it reflects heat back into the wetsuit. So when it is cold, you've got that benefit of thermal lining, which is really, really important, obviously, within the winter months. And then obviously it gets really, really cold. You've got the option of wearing more layering underneath, something just like a thermal vest, maybe with an integrated hood. Okay, but um, great wetsuit because there's loads and loads of flexibility. It's fully taped and you've also got that really high quality thermal lining. So uh, the Compax is a good recommendation for a year round wetsuit. Okay, up next we've got O'Neill and from them we've got the Hyper Freak, their most flexible wetsuit that they've ever made. We've got no thermal layering in this one, but what they've done is they've beefed it up by half a millimetre. So it's actually a 4.5 and a 3.5. So that increases, obviously, the thickness, increases the warmth. So the way to look at this is this is like a warm summer suit. On those hot days, you will get a little bit warm in it, but it's so flexible, you'll still be able to move. Um, but on the winter days, when it's getting really cold, you might want to add your boots and gloves, and maybe on the freezing days, add a little bit of thermal to it. So you can see inside, there's no thermal layering, but it is fully taped shut over all the seams. Okay, so that's to minimize any water getting through that seam. Okay, so it's extremely flexible wetsuit. And like I said, it's now actually a four and a half, three and a half. So that's your all year round one from O'Neill in the Hyperfreak range. So up next, we have another one from O'Neill. Uh, we mentioned this suit because it's a little bit down, lower down in the sort of price range, so a little bit more affordable for people who shop shopping on a bit more of a budget. Uh, but having said that, it's still a really great wetsuit. The key things uh, that you're looking for, as we say in the wetsuit, is the flexibility. So for summertime, you've got that movement of freedom of movement in the wetsuit, but also some thermal properties to make sure that when you hit winter, you're not going to freeze. Okay, so we mentioned this suit because it's 100% super stretch neoprene. It's not the techno butter that you get in the more expensive suits but it's a nice super stretch neoprene the whole way through it's fully taped so the seams are not going to let water in and it's also got a bit of thermal lining front and back okay so it's uh, got all the things that you need for winter but it's still got that flexibility and sort of ease of movement when you hit the summer months so it's definitely a good one uh, for people who've got a bit more of a budget this is the ladies wetsuit and if you've got even a bit of a tighter budget then it's worth considering the epic um, which is again low down in the range uh, because that's still got a bit of thermal lining um, but it's not got the taping but yeah the ninja is definitely a recommendation okay up next we've got from the rip curl we've got the 4-3 flash bomb so this is made with the e6 so the e-bomb material in the sixth generation extremely stretchy as you can see it's got fully thermal layering in the upper body with the slightly thinner thermal layering and then once you move down to the main shell of the body going all the way down the chest all around the back, 
around the groin and hips, all the way down the legs, and you'll see here, right down to the ankle, we've got the really thick flash bomb lining. And that has got the flash bomb taping over it. So that's over your glued and blind stitch seam, making sure the water's not gonna get through that. It's gonna be nice and stretchy and nice and warm. So that will definitely get you through the winter all right. You probably just need boots, gloves and a hood. On a hot summer's day, it's gonna be a little warm. So just make sure you stay hydrated afterwards. That's the flash bomb. Okay, so that's our input in terms of a year round wetsuit. Now it's a bit of a tricky question to answer because obviously in summer, in a wetsuit like the flash bomb or something like that, you're gonna get a little bit warm. But you know, when it gets really, really warm in the UK, you can just tend to strip down to your um, board shorts or even just wear a cheap shorty. That'll get you through the summer. Uh, but most of the time you will be pretty comfortable in a 4-3 for most of the year. Uh, but then obviously in the winter, um, the 4 3 will do a really good job. And if you're sort of active in the water, you'll find that you might even be able to get through the year in a 4 3 without even need to layer up any further. Uh, but like Dino said, um, if it does get particularly cold or if you do feel the cold a bit, then you've always got the option of layering up with a hood or like a, a thermal lined vest with a hood attached. So you've got options basically. So uh, for a one suit for the whole year, we definitely say look towards a four mil wetsuit um, for your sort of year round option.